We begin with breaking news tonight. A New York man now charged with arson after starting the biggest fire co-host has ever seen. Police say 51-year-old John Gomes intentionally set a fire. It quickly spread because of strong winds. It started around 2 this afternoon. Now, this, by the way, just north of Albany. It tore through three blocks. Dozens of people are without a home this evening. Local 22's Andrew Bannis spoke to some who saw everything disappear within minutes. Police find the man they believe is responsible, 51-year-old John Gomes. Authorities say he may have intentionally set a small fire in his backyard, but the wind spread quickly, and soon the fire is out of control. Now Gomes is charged with arson in the fourth and reckless endangerment in the first. Incredibly, no one was seriously hurt in the blaze. You're looking at the horrific scene here Thursday afternoon, and neighbors can't believe what they're seeing. My house is already like literally on the ground on fire. When we got here, this is what I saw my whole life up in flames. I just, I just can't believe I see this. In total, nearly 20 buildings are damaged by the blaze. Linda Langley owns one of them that is now just a pile of ash. Flames were coming out the window 10 feet. Greg lived in one with his dog. Now he's one of dozens without a home. He says the strong winds made the fire almost impossible to stop. Literally 10, 15 minutes, you, you forget about it. You can't even go near the building anymore. So it, it was fast, very, very fast. Mayor Sean Morse calls it the worst fire the city has ever seen. I'm confident that we'll, uh, we'll rise above this and, uh, you know, we'll rebuild. Wow, I still see the smoke mm -hmm. even late night. Andrew Bannis reporting Gomes is due back in court December 5th. Meanwhile, crews will most likely be there well into tomorrow. Restaurants and shops nearby also damaged. Local 22's Lauren Linder found hundreds of feet away Smith's Tavern caught fire. See where that gap is right there? There's a building right here. They were on fire. The other two buildings right next door have also had major damage. Unfortunately, Assemblyman John McDonald has seen this all before. About 20 years ago, a fire took down his home and his family's business. Luckily, this time, Mara's Pharmacy had little damage, but the store's garage across the street is a total loss. We had a lot of our surplus inventory. We had some brand new lift chairs that were going to be Christmas gifts for some of our customers and all of our medical records. That's the side of Remsen Street where the fire started, but the winds were so strong, embers flew to other businesses, like Rizzo's Florist across the street and Smith's Tavern hundreds of feet away, where Gary Megan has worked as a sous chef for five years. It's like seeing your own house on fire or something. Don Russell, who owns Spindle's Wine Bar, watched it all and couldn't believe his eyes. 30 mile an hour plus winds, it, uh, I saw it jump and jump and jump. He was fortunate. Spindles and a new restaurant he's opening by Smith's were left untouched. But it isn't easy for him to see an area that's in the process of a revitalization get hit by such devastation. It's going to take the surrounding communities to help us all lift ourselves back up because of the number of people that were impacted. The city is hurting, but like they've done in the past, McDonald is sure they'll be able to get back on their feet once again. We're a resilient bunch. We'll bounce back. Uh, it's just going to take some time and everybody working together and that's what cohosiers do at the end of the day. That was Lauren Linder reporting. Smith's Tavern caught on fire not once, but twice. The sushi restaurant next door was also.